Yo, what's up everyone, Ufo here, and today we are doing Mythbusters. For you guys that do not know what Mythbusters is, we take myths from the comment section, we go into a game, we test out the myth, and we either confirm the myth or we bust the myth. It's always super fun to make these videos, so I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you guys leave a like. Leaving a like always really helps me out, and I always really appreciate them. Also, while you are down there, if you could subscribe, that would be awesome. Awesome. Again, it just helps me out, keeps the channel moving in the right direction. And without any further delay, let's hop into the first myth. So the first myth here is, can chug splashes heal a car? So cars, they've recently been added to Fortnite. And for this myth, we are seeing if chug splashes are able to heal a car. So you guys can see here, we got a car, it is damaged. We go up to it, we throw some chug splashes on it. And unfortunately, this myth is busted. Mm. Chug splashes do not heal a car. It would have been awesome if it did but unfortunately it does not work like that but something that is very interesting is you can actually heal a car by a campfire so if you guys go up to a cozy campfire somewhere around the map with your car that is damaged you can actually heal it up using the campfires it's also quite funny because the smoke just disappears that's like a fun little fact but yo the first myth is busted you cannot heal a car with chug splashes and let's move on now to the second myth now the second myth here is can a henchman go onto a launch pad so as we all know around the map henchmen can spawn in and pretty much they're just ai protecting a certain area but what happens if you get a henchman to go onto a launch pad that's what we're here to test out and you guys can see we are in a game here we actually managed to get a henchman to use a launch pad and this was actually unexpected the henchmen can use the launch pad they go up in the air and they do glide down but they don't actually have a glider which is very strange i don't know if this is like a visual bug or what but yeah the henchman just started floating down towards me without a glider or anything which looked kind of freaky but yo this myth is confirmed henchmen can use launch pads and again because we like to throw them in a little fun fact is you can actually pick up a henchman put him on your back and launch pad with him on your back i actually did this completely by accident but yeah in the game i I managed to do this and again it just looks super weird but yes like i said that myth was confirmed henchmen can use launch pads and let's move on to the next myth the next myth here is if two people fuel a car it goes twice as fast. So as we know, cars are added to the game and cars, they have a fuel meter and we are going to test out if by fueling up a car, if it will go twice as fast if two people fuel it at the same time. So obviously for this test, I had to fuel it up myself just so we can get a general idea of the speed it goes up. And then yes, I did grab one of my friends. We both fuel up the car together and you guys can see it actually does go twice as fast. So this myth is again, confirmed it's a cool little trick it's not really that helpful but it's good to know and let's just move right on to the next myth and the next myth here is actually an interesting one and it's can a car bounce off a crash pad so we all know crash pads are in the game you bounce on them they make you go up in the air and they're just really a fun item to use but we're seeing can a car use them and the answer is yes they can this myth is again confirmed a car can use a crash pad no problem it bounces off them and you can actually chain them, which is kind of cool. But there's actually a follow-up myth here. And the follow-up myth is you can jump out of the car when it's in the air and you don't take full damage. So as we know, crash pads, you can fall from any height and survive if you have the crash pad. Because you bounced off it, you get like some kind of invincibility thing around you. So we're seeing, does that apply if you use a car? And this myth is actually busted. You guys can see here, we drive a car onto a crash pad. We jump out when it's at max height and I take full damage. So even though we use a crash pad, I didn't get the invincibility effect. And that meant we took full damage, which is very unfortunate. But nonetheless, still a cool myth to try out. Now, while we are experimenting with cars, there is another myth here, which is myth. Can a car use a launch pad? So we just saw they can use crash pads. 
What about launch pads? So we have a launch pad on the floor. We drive into it and this myth is confirmed. You can use a launch pad in a car technically. The car does bounce a bit, but it does eject you from the car at the same time. So it's kind of weird. I'm going to say it's confirmed just because the car does also bounce, but you don't stay in the car. But anyway, let's move on now to the next myth. And that myth is do henchmen have unlimited ammo? So like we already talked about, about henchmen they spawn around the map they're just random ai and we are seeing if they ever run out of ammo and i'm not going to lie i was an authority i got this henchman to shoot at me for a very long time and he never ran out of ammo now i don't know exactly how i'm going to show this in the video i might put a counter on the screen about how many times this henchman actually reloaded his gun but he did not run out of ammo and i'm going to say this myth is confirmed it honestly felt like he was shooting me forever and i don't know where he got all this ammo from but he definitely got it from somewhere anyway let's move on now to the next myth and this myth is if Midas gets into a car it will turn gold so as we all know the Midas skin in Fortnite whatever he touches turns to gold if you get into a vehicle like a boat the boat will turn gold if you pick up a weapon it will then turn gold in his hand and we are seeing if you get into a car will it turn golden will it get a gold wrap on it and unfortunately Unfortunately, this myth is busted. I was very surprised. I actually thought the car was going to turn golden, but yeah, it just didn't. Kind of a shame. Maybe it's some lazy coding. Maybe they didn't think about this. Maybe it's a bug. Who knows? But unfortunately, it is busted. And we are going to move on to the next myth, which also involves Midas. And that is, will fruit turn gold if Midas touches them? So again, as I just showed from the gun on the floor, if Midas picks up something from the ground it will turn golden and we're seeing does this work for fruits so i'm going to fill my inventory up with fruits i'm then going to cycle through them in my hand and then i'm going to drop them and unfortunately once again this myth is busted the fruits do not turn golden they just stay however they are and again it's kind of sad but at the same time i guess you can't really eat golden fruit so that's probably why anyway on to the final myth here and the final myth is what happens when you drive a car off max height so we built a ramp going to the sky to max height and it's very self-explanatory we're just going to drive off it for extra good measure we made sure to boost at the top just so we got maximum height and yeah you survive so this myth is confirmed and it's pretty cool you don't take full damage from a car but yo that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Mythbusters. i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you guys leave a like of course subscribe if you have not already if you want to be featured in a future video make Make sure to leave your myths in the comment section and yo as always make sure you guys take care brush your hair and peace out yeah.